Alright guys, you said you wanted to see me practicing some stuff in the wind tunnel. So here's me trying to do some layouts. I was working on this before I got onto my furlough, so as I came back I wanted to get going on it again. Knock some of the rust off. Didn't do so great the first time again. Going up and too low, knocking the feet on the net. Layouts are a bit more difficult than people think it is because it's going over the head and you do have potential of stalling out and possibly breaking your neck or you could drive toward your head really hard and so it's just one of those where you just work at it. The first couple times someone spots you to making sure that you don't crash into the net. So it's to the point where I am being without spotting but it's still a work in progress. So Megan's helping me out in there. Going up still too low. You tell me, nope, get up higher. All right, got to get that altitude. Let's try this again. Still flopping, not pointing my arms to the wall well enough. We also decided to bump the wind speed up a little bit because my wind speed changed since I last left. Altitude down a little bit better. So she's telling me, let's get those legs straight more. I should fly the layout rather than just huck it. There. So I let the wind take my legs and push me over my head. So now she wants me to punch my arms out pointing to the wall behind me when I do this. Still too low, not high enough. So now she's gonna show me, point toward the wall. Trying to remember all this stuff, all the tiny little details you gotta do. Go up, point toward the wall, come down. <laughs> Let's do it one more time before the session's up. Actually, I forgot. I'm gonna try to go up and down a few times just by flattening out the body. So what I'm telling her what I wanna do is I wanna go up and down by flattening out the body so I can feel the lift that I get on my legs. What I also want to try to do is have my head more toward the wall behind me and then drive toward my feet as I start to gain altitude. It's going to help the layout look more smooth and it's going to fly more proficiently. So she's telling me get more toward that wall as I start to go up and to flex my feet. Don't have them pointing so much. It's hard to tell from this angle, but I am moving back and forth in the tunnel from one wall to the other wall. Feeling better about getting that lift. So let's get ready to try layouts. Here we go. Point toward the wall, come down a little better. Just need a little bit more altitude. Go up, point the wall, come down. So it's already kind of gotten better since the first time I was in. Point to the wall, come down, look at that. Over the feet transition to the back. Now to make the layout more smooth, once I do this, what she wants me to do is to do my over the feet transition more dynamic rather than static. Static would be in one spot, whereas dynamic is from one wall flying back toward the other wall. So it looks like one big smooth motion when I do the layout to the over feet transition. Over, down, up, over the feet. As I keep working at it, it should look really smooth over time. So there we go. That's what I've been practicing during my flight time this week, is getting those layouts dialed back in like before I left. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos. Come back again soon.